Okay, I've done a little bit of work to the body uh, panels. Uh, what I've done, as you can see here, and let me get a close up here. I've got a little bit of an LED lamp here going. Uh, I have added a spring to the push rod assembly I have made. Uh, in the dome, I have a, uh, a the linkage, I have the spring, I have the collar, uh, and then I have uh, where it meets with uh, the linkage, and then I have another collar and another spring. And because of space constraints, uh, essentially, uh, if I had a uh, longer rod here, it would wind up hitting some of the stuff inside of R2. Uh, in the case of the side door, it would go out the side. So I had to shorten them up. I say that to say this. What I can do with this is with the curved surfaces of R2's body, uh, it can be a challenge to make these doors stay closed and flush. Uh, the spring right now with it under power is helping pull the door shut. Uh, and then when I apply force, it opens all the way up. It's also called a servo saver, so that if someone wants to uh, push on the door, for example, and right now it's, it's in there real tight, so it's a bad example, but I can push this open, and I'm not going to do any damage to the servo. Uh, right now it's playing with the spring. The other thing that I do is I've been using these kind of uh, linkages here, and as you can see, if I get the focus going here, uh, it's kind of a uh, like a ball assembly, so it has a little bit of slop to move around. Let me move that back camera does not want to focus for whatever reason tonight. Uh, the other thing that I uh, would pass along is when you are installing servos, uh, make sure that before you get too carried away, uh, away rather uh, with the linkages, uh, what you want to do is power them on and get them to their basically their neutral start position. Uh, then once you have that, uh, then you can you know put this guy in, put the set screw in, leave it powered because the motor will provide a little bit of a torque so uh, this otherwise if you don't have it powered will want to move under you know under force uh, I really 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 like these push rods and these uh, Dubro collars uh, the springs you probably have better resources than I do the local Lowe's had a great big box of assorted springs uh, that was about you know three or four bucks uh, so essentially <laughs> every spring I have on here is a little bit different than the other one but it works, and what I do is just a lot of trial and error, uh, just playing with the uh, radio receiver, and when I'm uh, content and happy with the way everything is synced up, uh, you know, unplug and, and go on to the next. But essentially, uh, I've done that with all these guys. Uh, the other thing that I've added to the end of them is, you'll see at the very, very end here, there we go, is I have another collar, so that should the set screw on the bottom of that servo horn let go, uh, I have a little bit of a you know safety measure here, so that... Uh, should the screw in the bottom, the set screw fail, uh, you know, not all the parts go flying off. And you want to help. Can't you see I'm busy? Well, anyway, so that's uh, that's what we've been up to. And uh, apparently my work is being inspected. So we'll call it good there. And uh, thank you for your help too. And don't you dare chew that wire. Well, looks like I better go.